Hey, do you wanna get from FPS like this to FPS like this and even ping between 20 to 50 MS? Here's proof. Now I'm gonna show you how. So for the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up Google Chrome on your computer or whatever type of browser that you like to search with. And then you're just gonna search up Blockstrap. Then you're gonna make sure that you click the GitHub link. All of these other links like Blockstrap Lab and Blockstrap.org, these are not the legit Blockstrap. So make sure that you're clicking the GitHub link. Now once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down until you get to the installing area and you're gonna click download the latest release of Blockstrap. From there, just click this link and Blockstrap should be downloaded. Now you can just set it up and then you'll be ready to move on to the next step. After you finish downloading it, you're gonna click the little search button at the bottom of your screen and you're gonna search up Blockstrap. From there, click the open button to open it and select configure settings. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the most important step first. You're gonna go ahead and click the engine settings and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see fast black editor click that probably show like a caution screen but once you are in here from here you're gonna import the json file linked inside of the description now make sure when you're copying and pasting these that you don't copy and paste them all at once once you see that th this little thing is there that means that that's the end of where you should be copying let's copy this first one okay now it's gonna say that you're importing a very large configuration when it says are you sure you want to continue just click yes and it says some of the flags that you are attempting to import already have set values if it says that just click yes again and it's pretty easy now let's just go ahead and copy the rest now it's going to say this again just click yes again and we have all of the f flags ready to go now just click save and you can go ahead and test it out in a roblox game and then adjust these to your needs but we have the big part out of the way now you're going to go back to engine settings again and we're going to scroll all the way up to here now where it says frame rate limit it'd probably be set to zero for you but you're going to go ahead and type in 99999 or just like spam a whole bunch of numbers and click save now if you want to get less lag you could disable people player shadows that doesn't really bother me and i don't really lose any fps from player shadows the font size this could also be causing lag the default value is one since i have a custom font i like to use four because the font that i use is pretty small but like i said you can adjust that to your needs this is basically all that you need for an easy fps boost with no lag included also your ping will decrease anyways that is going to be the end of the video make sure to like and subscribe because i'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers as fast as i can anyways uh